Okay, I, I thought that I had done this before, but apparently I haven't, and it's a really useful in-game tidbit. Uh, I know you've been in this position, everyone has. You have the queen, but your enemy's pawn is on the seventh rank. How, to you, how do you avoid the draw? How do you get the win? It's actually deceptively simple. It just takes a lot of moves to do. It just involves a simple pattern. Once you know the pattern, you repeat it, uh, and it, you, you'll get the win. Um, so we want to check the king. The king, say, the king goes here. Okay, we'll consider this. We'll consider this the um, beginning of the pattern. Now the king could have gone to other places, but we'll we'll say the king. Uh, goes here first because when the king is in front of his own pawn that, that's a good place to start because every time he's forced to go in front of his own pawn that means the pawn isn't going to queen on his next move so you, you use that move to bring your king down because you need the king and the queen to capture the pawn and to deliver the checkmate okay so now it's his move he goes here We'll give him another check, all right? And he sees that if he goes in front of his pawn, you'll just move your king closer again. So he wants to avoid that. So let's say he goes here, all right? It's a simple check, and he's forced to go here. We'll check him again. At the same time, we're attacking his pawn, so he's going to have to go in front of his pawn again. It's his move. Let's say that he goes here. Okay. The pawn's not going to queen on the next move. So, he goes here. Now, if he, if he went to... If we went here, then we just immediately get under the pawn. And once we get under the pawn, things are going to happen much more quickly. It, it's going to be the end for him that much sooner. So he's not going to go there. Uh, so we'll say he goes here. He goes there. Okay. Go right here. Again, another check. And he. I think you, you can see now how this is going to work. He doesn't want to immediately go in front of his own pawn. So he goes here, check. He has to go here if he doesn't want the pawn on the next move. Check. Now he, he has to go here. King moves forward. And you can see the pattern. I'll just repeat this and you can watch. And okay, so let's say let's say he goes here. Right? Well, the pawn's not moving, uh not queening on the next move because he's pinned. So that's that's no good. You just move the move the king again. Um so he does this. Place the move. Pawns not going anywhere now. He doesn't want to lose the pawn. Again, if he goes here, we get under it immediately. So, goes here. And we go here. Now be careful when you're going down. The next time you move the king forward, don't put it in one of these black squares. Put it put it in the square that's uh, on the same on the same file as the pawn. That way you don't get in the way of your queen checks. So, let's say that he goes, goes here. The pawn's not going to queen on the next move, and I believe he has to go here to keep from having the pawn captured. He must go here. King comes down. It's getting 
getting close. So he goes here. Check. Go right here. Now, if we went, let's see. No, that wouldn't be a stalemate. We'll go right here. And he's got one legal move. Right there. And, you know, it's going to be over. That's it. It's, uh, it's something that, if you're watching somebody do it without an explanation, maybe it might seem really difficult. It's not. It, it's a, it's a, a simple idea. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, thumbs up, and subscribe.